The Tony-winning revival of Chicago is entering its 20th year on Broadway with a new ad campaign that features current and original stars. We are here at the Westchester Airport to check out the glamorous photo shoot. Tell me what we're doing here today, Barry Weisler. Are we not having fun? Look at this shot over my shoulder. These ladies are gorgeous and they are so courageous. They're on planes, they're under planes. We've, we've, we've gotten a series of shots for the 20th anniversary marketing campaign that's going to fly high. Yeah, we're working with Max Viduco and he's amazing. And I just finished up a shoot with him and it's uh, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Do you have a lot of experience hugging propellers? Um, yeah, yeah, I do this like, uh, I try to do every other week actually, you know. The most important part is that we have the original cast here. We've got Andy Ryan King and B.B. Newworth and James Norton and Joel Grey. So that in, its, in itself is uh, quite special for all of us who are currently in the show. How did it feel to be back with the old gang today? <laughs> it was fantastic. I climbed into this old plane and there's Joel and Jimmy and Annie sitting in the pilot seat. <laughs> <laughs> it was fabulous. Where did this concept come from? I think what they wanted to sort of bring out was the idea that Chicago has become an international sensation. It's played all around the world and many continents. And the idea that uh, this one idea that started here in New York has gone on uh, to entertain people all across the world. You're dressed in your costume, yes. you're in gigantic heels, and you climbed onto a vintage airplane. I'm pretty sure they were five inches with a little platform. Yes, on a vintage airplane that was kind of falling in as I stepped on it. So. Yeah, it was a little scary. <laughs> I don't even know how I got through it. <laughs> I was just like, ready, set, go, let's fly. And I, I, I did it. We all were involved in this in a way that nobody ever expected much of it. It was a, an encores uh, event and we just liked it. And then the audience loved it. And here we are 20 years later. All you do is keep finding more and more layers, more and more depth. It's really a very smart show. You know, Candor, Fosse and Ebb, they really wrote a humdinger. What was really great about the show was that uh, it, there, was, it, there was nothing between the audience and the performers. And so it was special for the, for the audience, I think, to see that kind of performing right there in front of your eyes. This show uses no special effects. Walter Bobby, uh, director, said the special effects are, is the material. What does it mean for you to have had Chicago run this long? Um, a sense of pride that we did something good. When something proves to be a classic, it's always it, it's always good. It's it's always current, even though if it takes place in a certain era, it's not dated. It has an enormous amount of heart and love in it. So, um, and it's very sexy. So that's universal.